Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. I wanted to uh, clarify a couple of things and answer a question for you guys based on the feedback and messages I got uh, as far as the vision language modeling series is concerned. Um, the clarification I wanted to make is in terms of the scope, who it is designed for, right? Uh, it's pretty simple guys, anybody who has done some kind of work in uh, NLP or computer vision or any kind of deep learning and has some acquaintance with preferably PyTorch or maybe TensorFlow, uh, you will find uh, it easy and the learning curve is not going to be steep. Uh, but if you're an absolute beginner, the learning curve can be steep, but I don't want to discourage you to say that it is impossible. Uh, if you put in some work, um, you can do it. But uh, the problem is you will be learning multiple new things. Like it can be new NLP concepts, it can be new computer vision concepts, and that can be few, uh, few uh, PyTorch concepts. So uh, it is understandable, uh, but there is no rush. You take your time and put in the work and you can learn it. So that's as far as scope is concerned. And, um, and there was one more question in terms of um, resources. Um, I think most of uh, the, the more uh, most of the code is done in uh, Colab. So if you have access to free Colab uh, and the GPUs that come with it, that's pretty uh, pretty much enough for you to do it. Uh, if not, use uh, Kaggle uh, uh, GPUs. Uh, you should be covered. Uh, so. That's in terms of scope, uh, resources, and uh, the question I wanted to answer is, um, like, why bother approaching multimodal tasks in vision language space using unimodal pre-training, right? First of all, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to give you three compelling reasons. Uh, the first compelling reason is, first of all, it is not a novel or new concept by any stretch of imagination. Like, if you look at the clip architecture, the, the poster child for multimodal modeling, uh, OpenAI's clip has already done it. It uses uh, off-the-shelf vision language uh, pre-trained uh, backbones, extract features, slaps a contrast to last, and learns a similarity function. So I strongly encourage you to go back and check out the, uh, check out the paper. So that's, uh, that's reason number one. Uh, compelling reason number two is the flexibility you get in using different fusion techniques and um, different uh, backbones because in uh, multimodal pre-training you are at the mercy of the implementation so you don't have a lot of choice so that's um, uh, reason number two and um, reason number three is uh, it is a, a, the, using unimodal pre-training for uh, multimodal approaching multimodal task is an actively researched area it's not something uh, that we are trying to dig from the past it's not an old technique or anything like that it's very hot and actively researched you don't have to take my words at face value i'll link a paper for you to uh, show how active it is right another thing is uh, multimodal pre-training, uh, if, if I sound like I'm arguing against multimodal pre-training for vision language tasks, I'm not, trust me. Uh, the point we are trying to make is, uh, in the first episode, we have linked uh, to the literature, uh, to the survey that's uh, surveying all the literatures in the image and uh, video space of vision language pre-training. So if you look close, most of the papers, except for one or two papers, uh, is minor incremental improvements. So if you're an academic researcher trying to chase a state of the art to publish your research, it makes a lot of sense for you. But if you're an applied engineer trying to solve a real world problem, uh, you will have a lot more incentive sticking to unimodal pre-training with some custom explicit fusion as of today. That's our point. We are not arguing against it. right? So with that said, uh, this clarifications in terms of scope and uh, the resource needs and uh, you know and who it is intended for and so on and so forth should uh, help you. Uh, I'll leave you guys with this message and I'll see you guys in another episode. Thanks for your time.